Hi, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about Codex. And as I mentioned in the paper, Codex stands for coder slash decoder. And a coder is what takes the video you're making and compresses it. Uh, a decoder is the part of it that takes the compressed video and then renders each of the individual pixels. If you were to record video that does not use any kind of compression, it has to record each pixel and the color of each pixel and even a very short video will start to run into the gigabytes. My favorite free decoder is called XVID, XVID, and you can download it at www.xvid.com. And you could just go straight to that website or you can Google it and go to their website. Um, if you want to uh, download it, XVID is available for Windows platforms. It's also available for Linux platforms. And I think there's also a version available for Macintosh. So it doesn't matter what platform you're on, you can use this codec to get high quality yet also small files. So a very good combination of properties to have. Now let me show you a couple of the other codecs out there that you might see listed when you start to use some of these desktop capture software. And I realize that this is going to be very, very small on your screen, tiny text, but um, most, most desktop co capture software will have a place for you to select the codec you want to use. So uh, one here is called Logitech Video, Cinepak Codec, Intel, IYUV, Microsoft Video One. Um, here you see I have a couple of other codecs. These are uh, ones that you have to buy. The TechSmith codecs, these are ones that come with the program Cam Camtasia. Uh, a very common one that some of the free desktop recording software will default to is Microsoft Video One. It's a very old codec. Um, it does an okay job, but you end up with very large file sizes. If you're on a Windows machine, by default, you'll usually see the Cinepak, the Intel IYUV, and the Microsoft Video codecs installed by default when you install Windows on a machine. But again, all three of these are kind of older and, and we can do a lot better with this XVID codec. Now, let me show you a little experiment that I did to show you the difference in performance between these codecs. I used this diagram. This is a diagram I made in Inkscape that I'll discuss in a future, uh, one of the later videos in this series. And I made a little video where what I did is I moved the the demand curve back and forth and I shifted the supply curve back and forth a little bit while talking about what I was doing. It's a very short sample video. It was for 20 seconds. And let me show you what happened as the results. So I used the Microsoft video codec and a 20 second video was almost 9 megabytes. Using the XVID codec, it was a little less than three megabytes. So you see the Microsoft Video codec was uh, is creating a file that's about three times larger. And this space starts to add up after you've made quite a few videos. Now let's look at the quality. So we see that the file size is almost three times as large. Let's check out the quality difference between the two. So a couple of things I'll point out. This is the XVID video over on the left hand side and this is the Microsoft Video One. And as you see the um, the S, the, the, the letter over here, the S and the I and the C, they're a little bit blurry over here on the left. Uh, but over on the right you can see a lot of pixelization. You can see a, uh, a huge difference between how smooth it looks on the left and how pixelated it looks on the right. Another problem that some of these older codecs have is uh, with capturing fine lines. Uh, when you're making a graph that has a Cartesian grid in the background like this video does, I want it to be able to capture these uh, grid lines fairly accurately. And look what happened over here in this screenshot from the Microsoft Video 
uh, codec movie that I made, uh, it, it really blurs out this line right here, and you can see some some weird little pixelating artifacts in the corners. Now, again, this isn't a huge difference. If, if we zoom out, you can see that the Microsoft video here on the right did a decent job of capturing the quality of what was going on. Um, but overall, you're going to get much better quality as well as a much smaller file size from using the XVID. Um, I have had problems with, with uh, on occasion, using the... Um, Microsoft Video or other of these older codecs where sometimes it won't record some of these uh, grid lines at all. But here we just see some severe blurring in some cases. So I'm going to end this video here. Please join me for the next video where I show you how to use one of the free desktop capture software programs out there.